Earlier this week, we created a daily planner layout. Well, today we are gonna take that layout and we're gonna actually make a planner out of it by creating a wireframe. Now, the wireframe is really important. It basically tells you where the table of contents should go, where your copyright page should go, your welcome page, how to use this planner, also how to do goal setting, how to do an end of month wrap up, any other things that you wanna include in the planner, you should kind of plan out first. And you usually do that using a wireframe. Now, today we're going to be using ClickUp's whiteboard, which is my favorite tool for creating that. And the best part is it doesn't matter what level of ClickUp plan you are on, whether it's the free plan or the pro plan, all of the plans include the whiteboard. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday or extra videos like today just for fun. All right, so we're gonna use that whiteboard feature and we can put it anywhere. So once you're inside ClickUp, uh, you can add whiteboards over here to the everything. Uh, you are gonna see board up here, or not board, view, and then you can go to whiteboard. Or if you, are inside of a space, you can add it over here by just hitting that plus sign, or inside of a folder, you can hit the plus sign here, as well as list. So you can pretty much add a whiteboard wherever you feel like it. So we're gonna add it over here inside Planner Academy. I'm gonna hit that little plus sign, do new whiteboard. And then once I'm inside that whiteboard, I am going to change it. So I'm gonna call this my planner pages to be created so I know what this whiteboard is all about. So inside of here, you are going to leave this as the select tool. If you hit this again, it will toggle to that move tool, which just means it will move this whiteboard around uh, for you, but we just need the toggle right now. I probably don't need um, to add any tasks or lists or documents. It will add it as a card for you, but I actually have not pre-made any lists for this planner yet, so we're just starting from scratch. Um, also, that screen I just clicked off of was actually the templates that are available inside of ClickUp. Um, so if I click that little magic wand, I could choose any of these templates and start using just say use template, but that's not really something I want to do. I want to create something from scratch. So that is what we're going to do. And you can also upload images as well. So uh, this feature, we're probably not gonna use the draw feature, uh, mostly because I have no artistic abilities, but I'm sure it's a really fun tool. Um, so we could use that. Actually, maybe we will use it. We'll just draw a jiggly, a jiggly, jiggly, is that the right word? <laughs> a wavy line, how about that, at the top. All right, so shapes. I'm gonna use squares as my shape, uh, and I'm gonna call this to be created, whoops, to be created pages. And then I am going to make this yellow so I know that I need to do something versus green boxes. So if I add another box over here, I'm gonna make this green and I'm gonna call this completed pages because I'll know that these pages are already done. And also while I'm inside of here, if I want to, I if I can't see this very well, really wanna emphasize it, I can change this to header one and I can change this to header one too. And then over here, I'm gonna use the text tool just to add a little thing, so shape key, so I know exactly what this is doing and I'm gonna make this bold and same thing, I'm gonna make that a big header one and maybe I'm gonna make it pink, there we go. So to be created, completed pages, and you know what? I think I'm gonna use circles to create links. So sometimes I link to websites or to a course or to a template that you can purchase. So I just wanna make a note so I know what pages I need to add links to. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna say these are a planner page design. And again, I'm just gonna make this bold, make it a header, and maybe I wanna highlight it pink. Uh, so we're gonna make that bigger. Do I really like it that highlighted? I'm gonna, so you, it's nice, you can just kind of play around till you find the perfect look. So we're gonna change that over here. Okay, so now we have planner page design. So I know the first thing I need to do, oh, not a sticky note. The first thing I need to do is I need to create the cover. 
So the cover kind of stands all alone um, and I can make this header one and I might want to make a note to myself. So I can use that sticky note application over here to say find a red and yellow cover uh, image to match the interior branding. So this could be a note for myself or it could be a note for say a designer. Um, so I can change this again to be pink and also I can change uh, this actual whole box to be another color like maybe blue and then I can use this connector tool over here those little arrows and I can connect this to this so then the, the designer or myself would know that this post-it note, which once you move it, it kind of stays connected, has to go with this cover. So we're gonna keep moving down. I'm gonna do two squares side to side because I do like facing pages. And if I don't feel like using that tool again, I can just hit the plus sign and then it go, knows that this is the first page and that's the second page. And that's kind of how I like to plan out my pages because once they become a digital planner or if someone three hole punches them, that's kind of what they'll look like. So again, the cover, um, I know I made it pink, but I should make it yellow so that I know it's not completed. Um, same thing with these, I should make both of these yellow. And you can do, all I did was highlight both of them and hold the shift key and then made them yellow. And then I can double click this and I know that this is going to be my copyright page. And I know that this is going to be my name, uh, date, um, info page. So someone loses their planner, then they can know exactly where it was. Now, as I move down, I what I could do is I could just highlight both of these and I believe I could group them together so that way when one moves, the other one moves. So then I always know that those two pages go together. Um, I think I can copy and paste that. I can copy and paste, how fun was that? So now I can just copy and paste all the way down as I go. So this next page over here is going to be my welcome page. And over here, this one is going to be my table of contents. So I do know that I need to, I'm gonna add another sticky note over here, um, find a transparent full size image of me to add to the welcome page. So it kind of blends in the background. And again, I'm gonna use that connector tool. So I know that that goes with this. The next thing I'm gonna do, I think I can just hit paste again. Yep, is, oops is I'm gonna move these over here uh, and I'm gonna do a goals page. And over here, I am going to do the year at a glance page. I think everyone likes seeing that in their planner. And I'm gonna make sure to make a little note to myself um, or to the designer if I outsource this, uh, do this page last. Um, and I'm gonna spell it correctly. Because usually what happens is uh, the table of contents, I once I see a planner, I will end up changing it and moving things around. So doing the table of contents last always makes the most sense because if this might have to be two or three pages, in which case, if, then I'd have to do the spacing correctly so that it looks equal on both sides. You don't want three things on one page and then eight things on another, it just looks kind of odd. Um, all right, so I'm gonna keep going. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a page on how to use this planner. I always like that. And then I'm gonna do example pages of the um, monthly goals. And then I'm gonna paste this again. And I'm gonna do more example pages. Example pages of the gratitude journals, journal pages. And we're gonna do another one, example pages of the monthly budget. Oops. And we're gonna keep going. And I'm gonna do example pages of the um, meal, sorry, the meal plan shopping list, and then example pages of the, um, what is it called? The events priorities page. 
So now I basically have everything that I need to do. So now that I've done all of those pages, I know the next thing I need to do is I need to create the monthly at a glance. So over here, I am going to do, because we already did the annual. So this is the monthly at a glance page. And I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna say A, because this is gonna be B. I'm gonna make it a two page spread. So half of the month is on the left side, the other half is on the right side. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I know that I need to have all of these different pages, the goals pages, gratitude, monthly budget, meal planning, and priorities. So really easy, all I have to do is copy all of these, throw these down here, and then just push paste. And I am going to change this one into uh, a monthly quotes page. And then instead of examples, this will be monthly goals. And over here, instead of gratitude journal, our example of, it will just be the gratitude journal, monthly budget, example pages, uh, we can get rid of that. And same thing, examples, we can get rid of that. So now I have my whole layout, and then I know that I'm going to add in my weekly pages. So I just need to copy this again and paste this. And these are weekly pages, because this is a dated planner. And then I can just make a little note to the designer, rinse and repeat until you get to December. And I am pretty much done with everything. Um, I am going to say that I'm going, that I'm relying on the designer to come up with something fabulous and wonderful. However, if there are pages that I really like that I want to make sure are included, I could upload an image. So I could go over here to upload an image and I could upload a, an example page. So I will just drag and drop a file into here that I know is an example that I really like. So I'm just going to go ahead and click upload. That is massively huge. So we are going to try to shrink that down um, and do something that is manageable. And let me go here. And I can toggle, I can zoom in and out um, with just the plus and the minus sign on my keyboard, I believe. Let's try that. I think if I just do uh, plus, yeah, there we go. We can zoom in. I know you can't see, hear me, see me uh, hitting the plus and the minus key, but I could have just zoomed in and out. So I can drag this over here and then I can do a little connector over here so that then she knows I can also add a sticky note to say, uh, please use this format for weekly pages, um, which obviously this is just a note to myself. I guess I'm just being extra polite to myself when I talk to myself, which is fine. I think we should all be really nice to each other, ourselves. Okay, so if I wanna see what I've done, I can change this to that move again, and I can scroll up here to the top and I can see everything. Now, the best part of this, again, like I said, is I can share this with my designer. So over here at the top right, once I have everything kind of where I want, I've added all the notes that I want, I can go to share and then I can invite someone by email because remember, I'm a solopreneur, so I really don't share this with anyone. All right, so step one is to just invite them by email or if they're already in your space, you can just add their name. And then the second step is to copy that link link uh, so that then this link will bring them right here to the same exact whiteboard, which uh, we can change that around uh, so we can move around and then they can see exactly what you saw as well as just maybe add some comments of their own or reply to you. So uh, love this new feature. I think it's a really great and easy way to plan out your planner pages. And I also hope this gave you some ideas on how to create your next planner and share your ideas with your designer or just make some notes for yourself. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I will talk to you later. And remember, if you would like to sign up for ClickUp, I have left a link for you below.